Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. As promised, we had this online meeting and I told you guys I'm gonna go through a lot of our courses and gonna review them, gonna go through a lot of tools and materials, see what's there, what needs to be told again and talk about and actually post on, on our YouTube channel. So as you can see, I'm gonna like head through our um, artist floor website you can see artist floor website link here i'm just gonna click on it you can see the logo on the uh, left the top part as well the top left part um if you look at the icon of course there's a sign up for free coupon you're all more uh, all of you more than welcome to sign up and get your free coupon and get any of the courses for free for, uh, for uh, any any of them that any of the courses that you would like you can get it actually okay now if i click uh, have a look at the side of the screen if you actually click on the uh, courses and scroll down you see there are watercolor and ink there are different tabs such as color pencil digital or art oil marker every day every month we are adding more onto this uh, uh, section so look forward uh, subscribe to our mailing list so you can get uh, a lot of free materials uh, for us uh, from us uh, i'm gonna just uh, quickly gonna go to all courses and then uh, you can see i'm gonna go towards the end of the page gonna go to number two and today we're gonna go through introduction to portrait drawing with pencil. I loved how this artist uh, slowly went through all the um, uh, sections, uh, materials, and etc. I'll, I'll go through them uh, one by one. So at the beginning, when you click on any course that you like, you go to the page and you see the teaser about the course, what will I learn, and also the the curriculum now i'm just gonna start learning because i've already enrolled in this actually i bought the course myself in order to enroll <laughs> okay so on the left side you can see a lot of uh, uh, sections introduction eyes nose lips hands complete master portraits each one if you click i'm gonna click on all of them at once okay now you can see all of them together you can see pencil introduction i uh, drawing the human eye male eye drawing and shading etc until the very end complete master portraits each one has different timings of course for each different timings uh, one thing that um there i had this discussion a lot with uh, our students as, as you know over the past few years we have around forty thousand students and when I receive the assignments or practices, something that I have realized, guys, is that when you send me the practices and you you tell me why my practice is not good as the artist or why my artwork is not good as yours, it's not just I'm better than yours or the artist better than yours. It's me. It's because we have practiced more. And I ask usually I ask the um, student how many hours did you spend on this eye drawing and because i can see the hasty sketches i can see the hasty line drawings and they're shaky they just wanted to finish the artwork they 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 didn't care about the process they cared about the end result this is like life journey you need to care about like um the beginning extremely important the journey uh, like layers by uh, layers uh, after layers and the ending not just from the beginning just jump towards the ending so what i mean by this the very first structure that she teaches here in this course is very important for instance right now i'm gonna go to the very first one drawing the human eye Okay, here you have downloadable resources, assignments, uh, materials that you need to uh, to know, and then later what will I learn section, of course, and then Hi there. we do have our um, voiceover artists that uh, they have joined our team. We have a lot of voiceover artists that they love what we are doing, love the USB, love the idea behind this uh, community, and they joined us and they do 
their best to give you the best uh, high quality voice over on each section. Now you can see I'm just going to go towards the middle uh, and the beginning. As I mentioned, we have a circle. And then I'm going to quickly go forward, access line drawings, another circle at three minutes. I'm going to go to four minutes. You can see step by step. So how long this artist has spent to draw a single eye? Let's see, I'm going to go to eight minutes. You see she's teaching eyelashes, quite important how to draw eyelashes. It's important to practice the eye, uh, eyelashes and then eyebrows. And then I'm going to go to minute 12. And we have front eye drawing, side view drawing, and also different, uh, uh, different angles. And close eye drawing as well, and I'm going to go towards the end. So you see, for sing simple eye drawing, which doesn't even have shading, she has spent more than 14 minutes. She has spent around 14 minutes to actually draw them. Not one minute. That's quite important. I I've seen a lot of you guys just spend one to two minutes draw this and say, that's done. That's my practice. I'm like, oh, just spend 14 minutes on it. The same time uh, you see the results. Now, the next point, when I mentioned the beginning, the journey and the ending, let's go through the next lesson, which is male eye drawing and look at a few uh, techniques as well together. I'm going to click play. We chose the music ourselves too. I hope you like them. The course when the teacher is not talking, usually have the music on. Okay, I'm gonna go, this is male eye drawing and shading number one. You see the end result, what's gonna happen. Now, slowly, the artist is gonna spend almost one hour in one single eye drawing plus uh, uh, shading. So it's one hour. I expect the same thing. You guys have the paper. Why this course is quite important for me? Because it's been done with um, one piece of paper and two pencils to one uh, maybe 2b or 4b 6b pencils that you can see in the introduction of this course very easily i'm gonna put all the materials uh, underneath uh, uh, this lesson uh, this video you, uh, youtube video you can go and uh, look at them and if you have any questions please let me know we will answer you she's gonna go through this eye uh, we are at number one minute and then, interestingly, she's going to uh, raise it and start all over again because she's not happy with the outline. So that's a, a, another important uh, fact because if you're not happy with the first main structure, the outline, the main outline, erase it, draw it again, and then shade it because the, main, the beginning of the journey is very important. You need to make sure you're drawing this, this skeleton the structure of your drawing is perfectly done. If it's not done proportionally, like the proportion is not okay, if it's not in the right place, how much you're good at shading and the techniques is not gonna come out right because you haven't actually done it, okay, correctly. And now we are at minute two. I'm, I'm just gonna go quickly to, and one important thing, artists keep looking at the reference. You have to keep looking at your reference. I'm going to go to minute 12. So slowly, this is the technique I really care about. So this is 12 uh, uh, minute 12, 44 second. How slowly the artist using the pencil and layering, uh, look at the hand movement going like from light and right to left and then adding the layer Look at the hand movements and one important tip, make sure your pencils are sharp when you are doing realistic drawing, pencil drawings. Now the outline is perfect. And now for the journey, she's going to take all the time she wants and complete this one eye drawing for 55 minutes. That's very important. 
And when I uh, like next time ask you, how long did you spend on this eye drying, which is the similar one? I give you access to this eye drying. You have it. You have the tutorial. You you can get one or two pencils and a paper, and start going through it because it's the same pencil, it's the same paper, and with the same speed. If you follow the hand movements, you can do that, and you can exactly replicate this. So. She's just going, giving the first layer, take her time. I'm gonna go to minute 24. I'm just randomly uh, going through each one because I myself, I don't know. So for a second, she's using a different um, material such as brush. And I remember when I was discussing this lesson with her, she said, I, I wanted to show this to, to the students, but I don't like using brush. Just two pencils is enough for me. That was an interesting fact for me when she was telling me. You can see the eye with the pencils, how shiny they look like, how real they feel like. So they, it, the eyeball and the, uh, the main parts, they really came out uh, uh, perfectly. I'm really happy with it, which I should not be happy with it. You guys should be happy with it. Slowly, we're gonna go through, uh, going through the eyelids. So this is minute 25 and 10 second. Look at my hand movement. Uh, artist had hand movements. <laughs> Usually, when I uh, when I uh, draw and uh, uh, do the tutorial myself, I'm like, look at my hand movements. <laughs> so that's why it's just been hacked. Now, I'm just gonna scan through and go through a minute 54 and 22 seconds. How much... Look how much actually uh, they spend and uh, time making sure the paper is finished. You can see the end results. Now, why she's using pencil 6B is the darkest one. She can give the ultimate darkness. Um, this is another course that we saw, a uh, lesson that we saw. You can on the left side you can see the male eye drawing shading number two, two male eye drawings, and Al Pacino. Let me go to Al Pacino. It's one hour and twenty five uh, minutes. You can see what we have on the screen. Hi there, and welcome to another drawing tutorial. In this it's tutorial, wonderful. we are going to work on an old man's eye together. To begin the drawing process, we are going to draw the axis lines to help us. So this tutorial is very important for wrinkles. When you are going through a certain course, you need to start with a very basic introduction. Then slowly, you're gonna apply those techniques on single eye, then male eye, then double eye then wrinkles, so step by step you're gonna go through, then you're gonna go through the rest of the um, facial features such as nose, lips and hands, and then slowly going into uh, complete master portraits. For the complete master portraits that I'm actually, let me scan through, I'm just gonna go towards minute number 121. So, she spent one and a half hour on one eye drawing. It's getting more and more. Last last one we saw together was 55 minutes. This one is almost like 125 minutes, one hour. So I'm gonna just slowly going gonna go towards. You can see the curriculum on the left side. I'm gonna go towards the portrait with a, a pair of earring. Why I, I was really happy when uh, the teacher, our amazing teacher, was teaching um, drawing. This portrait is because this art is one of my favorite uh, painters and why I really loved his paintings is that because he used blue pigment in his paintings this is a fun fact and at the time when you use blue pigment it meant like you're using very rich and expensive materials and mediums for your paintings so you could like a little brag so uh, this is a very rich and expensive painting I've used blue because at the time they had to buy blue from like different countries and like the import export wasn't as easy as it is today. So well, these days getting harder as well, but anyhow, uh, easier than before. And this is why this art is one of my favorites. So now you can see on the screen different um, um, 
examples, the blue, the rich blue that you can see, is quite some of my favorite ones. Now, going through the uh, uh, tutorial itself, that was a fun fact, you can use it. Uh, whenever you see this blue color, you can say, that's a very expensive painting. You do have access to all the down, uh, downloadable resources uh, in our course, when, whenever you enroll on our courses. And then you do have the grids and the outlines. The grids will help you to correctly, perfectly uh, draw. And if you cannot do freehand drawing. When you can do a freehand portrait drawing is when you actually um, practice a lot. So make sure that you, after you have practice with the grids and the outline, then you actually follow the hand movements of the artist and do freehand drawing. I'm at minute number four. You can see with two lines access, uh, the artist is going through it. This is amazing. It's one of my favorite um, drawings, freehand drawings. So slowly I'm gonna scan through, you can see different mediums, you can see how amazing, if I go uh, through one hour and six minutes, I'm just gonna <laughs> change my <laughs> position, uh, one hour and six minutes, and uh, the artist slowly adding shadings. So which part you have to add more layers, which part you have to have um, bright lights, it's very important. This is very old master style, which it's gonna really warm up your hand. You're gonna get better at a lot of pencil techniques and making sure that you have practice enough because this is a course that's gonna make you better for other courses, other paintings. It's not just these examples you can go through when you learn these techniques. Look at the hand movements. We are at minute one or uh, seven. So as you can see, well, from one hour you can see I'm gonna go to one hour and eight and then one hour and nine. Look at the one hour at nine minutes because the artist, the way she's holding the pencil and how lightly she's touching the uh, uh, paper with her pencil is very important here. Slowly. Now, this is what we expect from you as well. Slowly hold the uh, uh, hold on your onto your pencil and then draw and shade the layers i'm gonna go towards the end now it's one hour 25 look at the hand movements and the eye drawing and the shading so again what was important she took her time she made sure that everything is in place and then she let go of the practice. You, you also have to know when to let go and not to add more layers because adding too much layer and practice on it too many hours is not good as well. Maybe sometimes you just have to let it go. That's it. So having like with two pencils, what we learn here, summarize it. With little materials such as two pencils, with one suitable paper, maybe, uh, with a good paper, you can see the papers underneath here. And also time, patience and practice, you can like easily draw this portrait. I hope you enjoyed this uh, YouTube tutorials and the course review. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm here, I'm always online to answer. I would love to see your comments. What kind of videos, what kind of tutorials you would like to see because this tutorial this community is not just for one medium any medium any concept or frame you guys want to learn and practice we can create that for you from watercolor pencils still life drawing um procreate different apps uh, even at some point after effects so um the examples really depends on you if when you ask we will create those videos for you. So I, again, I hope you enjoyed this video and I see you in the next tutorial, review tutorials.